With big new releases like iOS 26, there will be always a ton of new settings that you must change on your device. And of course, iOS 26 comes with a lot of new features and a redesign and a ton of new settings that I suggest you go ahead, take a look and configure the right way on your iPhone. And I will show you guys quite a few of those that you must change right away once you have updated to the new iOS 26. Now, another thing you must do is hit that subscribe button as most of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying the videos and you wanna see more of them, hit the subscribe button, it really helps a lot. Now we're starting here with a new setting on the battery section. So you go under battery right here and then go to power mode. Once you go here, you will have a new feature called adaptive power. This is by far one of the best new features added to iOS 26. It is super useful as it will actually enhance the performance of your battery. It will basically adjust the performance of your iPhone and just make your iPhone have a better battery life and this is really cool so you make sure you go ahead and enable it right here now what you will have right here is another setting that you can enable or disable but i think you should enable it and it is called adaptive power notifications now adaptive power will automatically start working whenever ios decides to do that and it starts working in the background but what this will do then is that it will show you a notification every time adaptive power is enabled or it's active on your device. Next up, we're moving under the general settings. Go under general and then right here, you will have a new section called screen capture. Now, when you go here, you will have a few new settings to look at. So first of all, we have full screen previews for your screenshots. So what you're doing here, if you have this enabled, this is what it will do. Basically, it's disabled right now. It will take the screenshot and it's right there. But if you enable it, it will take the screenshot and it's on your screen. So it will take the full your screen of your device. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and disable it right here because this is a much more practical. So you take the screenshot, it is there, doesn't have to take the screen. And if you need it, you just tap it right there and bring it back to the full screen, which is much, much useful. Now, another thing you will have right here is the format. Now you can finally change the format of the screenshots that you take on your device. Now, this is basically HDR and SDR. So you can decide here what you want to do based on how you use your screenshots. Now, a lot of times I have to use screenshots for my videos. So I want them to be the best quality. So I always choose HDR. But if you're not actually using them for anything rather than just sending them to a mobile device or just sending them somewhere, it's actually much more like basically better for, in my opinion, to choose SDR. This is more compatible and it will take way less space on your device because the HDR ones will take 10 megabytes or more on your device. And if you take a ton of screenshots, they will pile up cool pretty quick and take a ton of space on your iPhone. And the next thing right here is another setting that I think you should enable. It is called CarPlay screenshots and this allows us to take screenshots of your CarPlay. So if you use CarPlay on your car, go ahead and enable CarPlay screenshots from here. Next up, we're moving under the camera settings and we have a great new feature for the camera app that you need to enable right here. So under settings, go to camera and scroll down here and you will have a, this section right here. It is called lens cleaning hints. Now what it will do once you go to your camera and you're trying to take a picture or a video, if the lens of your camera is not clean as interrupt and it, it is actually interrupting the view and not giving you the best quality, then it will show you a pop up on the screen asking you to actually clean the lens of your device. And that is super useful. So go ahead and enable it from here. Moving back here and let's go to sounds and haptics. We have something really interesting. You can see right here, we have a section now for input. Now, right here, you can choose the microphone that you're using on your device. Now, we'll have two options in this case when you don't have any like third m microphone in just connected to your device, you will have the automatic one, which will always choose, of course, first the iPhone uh, microphone. And then if you have something else connected, it will show right here. So just make sure you have it on automatic. So you don't default to another microphone that you might have connected to your device. So choose the automatic one is always the best option. 
Next up, we're moving under privacy and security. And right here, we have a new section for wired accessories. So you go right here and you will have a few different options. So you know, you know, sometimes when you plug in your device to charge or you're connected to a computer, it will ask you to unlock your iPhone be before those cables or whatever they is, that is connected to your device can actually be used. And now you can change how that works. So you will have always ask, ask for new accessories or just go ahead and always allow or in my opinion the best option is to allow them when you have your iphone unlocked when your iphone is locked of course you will need to unlock it in order for those to be used so you will have a few different options right here in my opinion this is the best one to go for now with the phone app on ios 26 we have a ton of useful features now, of course there is a new phone app with a new design but uh, this is a, actually more important these two features right here so first of all we have hold assist detection so basically you're calling somewhere like a service or something like that they will put you on hold having this enabled will detect that automatically which means that your iphone will basically hold the line for you so you don't have to stay on your phone and once is your turn to speak it will actually notify you which is super super useful so go ahead and enable hold assist detection right here and then you will also have here screen unknown callers so you will have here a few different options so screen unknown callers never ask reason for calling or silence you can choose here what you want to do of course uh, based on your preference but in my opinion using actually this one will maybe be the best option so your iphone will basically ask the reason for calling let you know and then you can decide whether you want to pick it up or not which is super useful now the same goes here for messages as well you can also screen unknown senders and you will have that option right here so you have basically the option to enable it right here it will hide notifications and move messages to unknown senders list which is super useful you don't want to have your messages list there with a ton of messages sent by different companies and different like marketers and all that so just go ahead and enable it right here now another thing you will have here is allow notifications so you can enable time sensitive or have others as well but i would just go with time sensitive so when it's an unknown sender if it's like a verification code or something like that it will actually send you the notification so make sure you have this enabled so you don't actually miss any of those important messages now another setting you should enable right here if you want to use a pretty cool new feature added to ios 26 with the iMessage is the backgrounds for your conversations you will actually have to enable it and it's right here conversation backgrounds you go ahead and enable it right here and now you can finally have backgrounds on your conversations with iMessage now right here under the iMessage settings, if you just scroll down all the way here, you will have another thing called send low quality photo previews. Now what this does is that when your device is on low data mode, it will basically send a low quality preview before sending the full quality photo. That way of course it will require way less data to send the image, it will be sent and then later on of course you can just go ahead and send the full image. Now here's another super useful new feature that Apple has added to iOS 26. Head on to the focus modes, you go to any of your focus modes or maybe you want to create a new one. So basically what you can do here is go ahead and add a new really useful filter. So you will have a, diff a few different filters right here. If I go to add a new one, you can see I have phone here and I can go ahead and now filter the calls for that specific focus mode based on different accounts, meaning based on different SIMs that I have on my phone. So when I'm on that focus mode, I can choose to allow calls from only one SIM card that I have. It's pretty cool. If you have more, let's say you have three or four, you can maybe choose two or three, but again, you can just pick whichever SIM you wanna use with that focus mode, and it's super cool. If you have like, let's say a number for work that you have dedicated for work, you can just go ahead and enable that number only while you're on the work focus mode. Otherwise, those calls won't come to you when you're out of that focus mode, and it's super useful. And for the last one, we're moving to the Files app. Now with the Files app, 
you can now choose where you want to open your files. So if I have a file here, I have a PDF file, I can go ahead 3D touch on it, and I can go ahead and open it with quick look right here, or I can choose now open with. Tap on that little arrow right there, and for the file that I'm trying to open, it will show me a list of all the apps that I have on my device that do support that file type, and I can choose right here what I want to do. Now, the default once you install iOS 26 will be the preview app, the new preview app, everything from the files app will just go redirect to the preview app. So if you don't want to do that, just go ahead and change the preview with quick look. So you can just open them on the files app or you can choose here any app you want. And then that app will be the default basically for those types of like files. In this case, if I choose, let's say Chrome for this PDF, every PDF file that I have on my files app will open to Chrome until I change that. So that is it for this video guys. These are some really interesting and useful settings that I suggest you change once you have your device updated to the new iOS 26. That is it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did smash that like button and subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.